Now is the time to program the machine. The wiring for the wall button and for the photo eyes are in place. The battery is in place. The battery is inert until you put it in the little blue fuse. That's all in place. The receiver is in place. We're ready to program. It's plugged in. The traveler will come assembled in the mostly closed position, and we've engaged the carriage. It's holding the door up about a foot from the bottom. Okay. On the operator, there are three buttons back here. There's a P button, and there's a plus, and there's a minus button. All right. So what we do is we start off by pushing the P button and we hold it for four seconds. The display will count down four seconds for me. Okay, so we start with the up travel limit. We want the up limit to end a half inch from where we set the bumper stop. One way to program the correct distance from the bumper is to use the grip of a small screwdriver. That's where you know where to stop. We push plus to set the open limit switch. All right, that's the up travel limit. Then we push P and the up limit is set. Now we're going to program the down travel limit. We push the minus button and get it to close to where we want it to close. A little bit more, right there. We pushed P and that's the closed travel limit. Then we take the transmitter and push the button. You push P one more time and the programming is done. Most importantly, we now let the operator open and close the door twice. During these two cycles, the garage door opener is able to profile the door and learn the appropriate amount of force necessary to move the door safely.